Hi, my name is Stacy Westfall, and in this segment, I would like to show you what I would do with a older horse that already knows how to load in the trailer. I want to give you some tips and ideas of things that your horse should know before you approach the trailer, and then show you the correct way to load the horse into the trailer. This is Vaquero. He's a six-year-old gelding, and although I hauled him over here to make this video, I have purposely not done some of the pre-loading exercises that I normally would do with horses because like most people, I don't do them every single time I go to load, but I do keep in mind that my horse's training is very much like making deposits into a bank account. And if I have trained him to load in the trailer, it's like making a certain amount of deposits. And then every time that I load in the trailer, whether that is to go to a horse show or to go to the vets or to go on a trail ride, every time I load him, it's a little bit like taking out a withdrawal. So you need to make sure, first of all, that your horse is well trained enough. And so I want to show you how to make some of those deposits so that you don't ever go broke in this area. So one of the first things I'm going to do is I'm going to start rubbing him all over with this stick and string. This stick and string is being used as an extension of my arm. What I'm doing right now is I'm proving that he's comfortable with it. So I'm reading his body language. I'm watching his ears, his eyes, his nose, his general posture, his tail. You saw a minute ago when I first picked it up that he kind of moved around. His ears show me what he's focused on. So when I'm right here, they're focused on me. As I walk around, you can see him turn to look at me. That shows me that he's, he's focused and he's paying attention. I can do some little things like jumping around him to see if he's jumpy, if I can get a reaction out of him. You can see right there, he kind of leaned backwards a little bit when I first moved that stick and string. He's acting a little bit sensitive to it, like he thinks that I want him to back up. And since I'm actually just rubbing him with it, I'm going to move him forward again. This is reading your horse's body language. And the better that you can read your horse's body language, the better you're going to be at handling your horse. Because the way that he talks to me is through his body language. So now that I've established that he's okay with the stick and string, which is an extension of my hand, a way that I can control him better, I'm going to start to run through a few different checklist things that I would do before I tried to load a horse into a trailer. So one of those things would be, can I move him out of my space? Because a lot of times the horses are going to push into your space. If they're having trouble loading into the trailer, they're going to try to run you over. That's one option. And so to prevent that, I want to make sure that I can get him to move out of my space. So I'm going to tap up here. I can use a rhythm with my hand. I can tap on that stick on his neck, and that should move him away. He's doing an average to slightly below average turn. He's moving away from me, meaning he's respecting my space. You can see that when I walk into him, he's getting his body out of the way, but he's not really doing a nice correct pivot on the hind end. If I wanted to improve that, then what I would do, if I want him to pivot more instead of just moving the whole body around like that, I can push him over a little more assertively, and then I can pull him forward, push him over a little more assertively, walk him forward, push him over a little more assertively, tap on that stick and string on his neck, and then walk him forward a little bit. And so you'll start, you can see how that starts to move his body around in a different position. When you're using a tool like the stick and string, it's nice because although it's firm, you can hit yourself with it. You can see that when I'm using this, it's not causing me pain. If you have a good friend, maybe you can test it out on them. But you can see that it's not a painful thing. It's just an extension of my hand. It's not that different than if I were walking up and I was petting him like that. And so it's just a tool. It's also going to be a tool that I want to make sure I can use to move, say, his hind end away from me. So I'm going to ask him to pivot and leave his front end more still. You can see where that one foot pivoted right there. And I'm going to ask him to move his hind end away from me. And so I want to make sure that I can move that hind end away from me because you'll see when we go to load into the trailer that another option is them turning to run and drag us away. And so I want to make sure I have control over him like that. I want to make sure I can stand in one spot and move him away and send him forward because this ability to send him forward is going to be how I send him into the horse trailer. 
I want to know if I can reverse that and send him back this other direction. And you'll notice that the whole time that I did that, I stayed stationary in one spot. That's key because when I go to load him into the trailer, I'm going to be stationary and in one spot.